The tone of the talk, exploring intonation in question tags. Hello, English learners. Today, we're diving into a very interesting and important aspect of English grammar, question tags. Not only are we going to talk about their form and use, but we're going to focus specifically on the impact of intonation and meaning in question tags. It's truly amazing how much the tone of our voice can change the message we're conveying, even when the words remain the same. So, let's get started. Before we dig into the meat of our topic, let's refresh our understanding of question tags. These are short questions that we put on the end of our sentences, often when we want to make a statement but also ask for agreement or confirmation. An example of a question tag would be, it's a beautiful day, isn't it? Now, let's dive into our main focus, intonation. Intonation is all about the rise and fall of our voice when we speak. With question tags, intonation can significantly change the meaning of our sentence. There are mainly two types of intonations we use in English when it comes to question tags, falling intonation and rising intonation. A falling intonation at the end of a sentence generally suggests that we are making a statement and then asking for confirmation. In other words, we're pretty sure about what we're saying, but we'd like to confirm it. Here's an example. You're coming to the party, aren't you? With a fall in tone on you. In this example, the speaker is pretty sure the person is coming to the party. The question tag with falling intonation is just seeking confirmation. On the other hand, a rising intonation with question tags often means we are genuinely asking for information or we are uncertain about something. Here's an example. You're coming to the party, aren't you? With a rise in tone on you. In this case, the speaker isn't sure if the person is coming to the party. The question tag with rising intonation is used to ask for the information. As we wrap up this video, it's clear that intonation is a powerful tool in English, especially when we use question tags. So, when you're practicing your English, pay attention not just to the words and structure, but also to the rise and fall of your voice. We hope this video has been helpful in shedding light on how intonation can change the meaning of your sentences. Keep practicing, and soon enough, you'll master the art of intonation in question tags. See you in the next video, happy learning!